Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. This video is only possible thanks to my Patreon supporters and as a thank you all my furry little friends in this video are named after those patrons that have supported me. So in the last video we created a brand new beaver colony and we prepared for the dry season by using the latest log technology to pump water, planted carrots and then literally watched a beaver wait for them to grow. We built our first successful dam to try and create a new pond that could possibly help us survive the dry season before thinking big and trying to create the mega dam to try and keep our beaver colony looking green through the dry season. However, the end of the last episode ended like this. Oh no, it's sneaking up, it's sneak. Oh, bollocks. It's gone. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> we literally would have done that if we had a builder's flag. Balls. I did miss as well, we actually have two new baby beavers. We've got O.C. Deer and Cody Barrack. I'm sorry you've been born into just a dry poverty, like... <laughs> <laughs> things are not looking great at the moment. Thankfully, this little pit has kept things growing. So we've actually, we've not only just got berries, but we've also got some trees still growing. So all is not lost. I'm thinking as we've got a fair amount of logs, I might start prepping for the plankage. Oh, actually, I can just build, I can just build a power wheel and put a worker in there. <laughs> oh, I can pick one of you beavers to go in the power. I think we'll definitely, we'll do that instead. That's way better. Yeah, I won't build that yet though, I'll, I'll build the lumber mill first, just so I know how things work. So if we build the lumber mill, well maybe up here, by this factory, and we can put a power wheel straight into it, with a path to enter. And I think that should power that, without the need for any shafts. <laughs> Unfortunately guys, no shafts in this video. How dare you! Oh, but look, some of our carrots survived, so I'll tell you what then, I'm going to keep planting. We plant crops, carrots. Oh no! No! The water ran out! Oh, I didn't think it would evaporate like that. But it is the dry season, I guess. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. At least the beavers still have their campfire. They're still happy beavering away. And thankfully I'm happy now because the dry season is about to finish. I think the end of this night, the rain will come. And look, we had, we had so much water saved. We were nowhere near getting thirsty. But if we head upstream, you can see the water is running. It's rained somewhere far away and the water's finally coming. So let's speed it up and watch the life just come back into the land. It is, it is a cool feature, this. I love this. Ready? The water is coming. Yes, and life is back everywhere. All right, looks like Cody Barrack has taken over EGB's job of Grand Pump Master. Uh, and EGB is now the dam master, so he'll be building this dam. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go and try and recruit someone for the power wheel. <laughs> There's no volunteers for the power wheel at the moment, so I'm going to have to pick someone. Um, right, Matt Nichols, Steph, Rin. It's a one in three chance. I'm sorry. Matt Nichols, you are Mr. Power Wheel now. And there he is, Matt Nichols, powering the huge power wheel so that we can make some planks. Team players, that's how we get far in this game. Team players. I'm actually going to build another house there and then another one there. I'm going to try and build like some weird Skyrise beaver housing. I'm pretty sure last dry season in my last game, I died because of water. So I might build another water pump because I do want to prepare. Prepare for the worst. And then we can build a load more water tanks. Matt Nichols is still powering away. Cody Barrack is still pumping one out. And EGB is finalizing his dam. We've got a new... <gasps> no! I was about to say we've, got... we've had new life. But unfortunately, Night Joe has died of old age. <laughs> He's our first old age death. And as much as I'd love your name to carry on as Night Joe Jr., we've got more Patreon names to fill in. So Logan Scruff, Scruff, Scruff. So Logan Scruff, you are the new generation of beaver. Do us proud, son. Do us proud. All right, so here we go. There's Peronity looking over the whole of Beaverton, looking at the magical deforestation we've achieved already. Uh, we're going to make you do some planting, so you can either do some birch trees or you can do some berries. I feel like we should do berries all around here, like fill in all the gaps sort of thing. And then down here, we'll just mass fill that with birch trees. <laughs> trees for days. In fact, I'm going to make it so that you're happy you put your perch as high as you did, because you're going to be well in a forest. All right, good luck planting that, mate. You're going to need it. All right, it's the end of another beaver day. Our dam's now actually complete, so that's cool. Uh, we've had a new birth. Lagomorph. 
You shall beaver about and be the best beaver you can be. <laughs> oh, look, we can look at our population well-being. So it looks like we're fulfilling everything that we can actually do. They literally have no fun, no knowledge, no spirit, no spirituality, no spirituality, no aesthetics or awe. So we've got 143 science points. What if we... Oh, we need a lot for a temple. Oh man, it needs 120 lot. Yeah, sod that, sod that. Decorations. They all cost so much. Are they worth doing? A thousand science points? Are you having a laugh, mate? <laughs> I can't save up that many, can I? The good news, Aramaki has just been born. I've built a little bit of road here because I think if you build roads, it extends your range of stuff. So now when we click on this lumberjack flag, we've included these trees. These were slightly out of range. Well, you can see actually there's still a couple out of range. So if I build another bit of path, yeah, you can see that those trees are now in range. Lovely. Oh, look at our planting of birch trees. That is looking tidy, if I say so myself. Good work, Piranity. And it looks like harvest time is ready, so it might be worth upping the number of farmers just temporarily so we can harvest all of that food. Uh, so I think EGB, as usual, you're doing absolutely nothing. So we're going to pause you. And yes, you're now a farmer. So you can, you can harvest carrots for the rest of your days. Oh, we've also got double pumpers now. So Lagomorph is a pumper, as is Cody Barrack. So we should fill these up pretty quickly. So I am going to start building a few more water tanks again. I don't think you can have too many, if I'm honest. I'm determined to get to the end of this demo. I will do it. I will do it. Hang on, we got explosives. I will not lie, I would love some dynamite. Where is the dynamite? Surely it's in leisure, isn't it? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's in landscaping. Yeah, so we can unlock dynamite for 20 points. Yes, please. And we've got 15 explosives, so we can blow something up. I don't really know how they work. <laughs> Do they work underwater? Like, surely that won't work, will it? Well, look, they're flagged and ready to be exploded. I want to see a big explosion. I'm, my aim is to sort of make a deeper hole. And maybe that will allow us to store a bit more water? Maybe. It's a maybe. Right then, these are all completed, so I'm, I'm going to detonate one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Let's detonate this one as well. Boosh. Oh, now can we build some more even deeper? I think that'd be quite cool to build like a trench. Maybe it'll hold the water a bit more. So that's definitely the deepest bit of water we have. So maybe a trench along the edge of our plants. Right, we got a new baby beaver. Baby Zach. May my explosives help serve you in the future, little Zach. Oh, look, one's ready. I want to I wanna blow up that beaver so badly. Who is that? Sorry, Matt Nichols. <laughs> I do have some more beavers, so I'm actually going to reduce their working hours to nothing. And surely they'll just, like, beaver about and make babies all day. Well, someone's just been born, so maybe that did actually work. <laughs> yeah, I've changed my mind, though. Get back to work. 16 hour days. Yay! The crew, welcome to the beaver gang. Time to detonate. Boosh. Ready? Boosh. <laughs> nice. Now I wonder, can I actually put dynamite? I can put dynamite down there. I'm going to put a really deep one then, just to see if it's any better. And that really deep one, I'm going to prioritize that so it gets built first. Because I'm out of explosives now, and I can't make any more. I've got to build, like, paper mills and all sorts. Look, we are stacking up some water now. This is awesome. I feel like it might be too late to plant these, but we'll see. We'll see. We've got a lot of food and a lot of water. 285 food, 350 water. Right, let's detonate the deep one. Ready? Boosh. <laughs> And these at night. Boosh, boosh. Right, so we've got a really deep hole. Come the dry season, we'll see if that does actually fill up with water. Because I feel like like when the water went back, I feel like it was doing like levels at a time. So it went higher and higher. <gasps> Our birches are growing. Nice. We're going to have wood through the dry season, which is now approaching. And Yannick, baby beaver Becca. You're our new beaver who, I'm sorry, you're about to be born into a dreadful situation. <laughs> this is usually where I die in this game. Well, not me personally, just all of you lovely beavers. Uh, but you, you had a good run. All right, these boys are frantically pumping away in there, trying to fill up our water storage, ready for the dry season. I'm hoping our dam will actually help us quite a bit, because yeah, I'd love for all these trees, and particularly the berries, all to mature before the dry season kicks in. We do not have long though, I'll tell you that. All right, a little bit worried about the food situation. We got 200 but we're not gaining any more food at the moment. We, how long do these have left? They're only 68% growth. 
the carrots. I don't think they're going to make it before the dry season happens. Although, I've just remembered, we've got an irrigation tower. We can unlock that, and we've got enough resources to build... Yeah, sod it. We'll unlock that, and we'll build one of those there. And if we prioritise that, then everything in that orange radius, that should stay green. But it will use up water from our pumps, so it might be too late to build that. It's actually the dry season now, so it won't be long until the river starts backing up. Uh, but yes, 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 we did it. Look, it's filling up with water. They've taken out of these tanks. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna do a few more water tanks. <gasps> oh god, can you see there? This has dried up now. So yeah, there's no more water flowing down. We're currently using this up. As soon as we start pumping, this water level will start going down. And it's not gonna last forever. But look, the carrots. Yes. The carrots are being harvested. I'll tell you what, I might even plant some more carrots like that. Because why not? Why not? Oh no, Matt Nichols died of old age. He was our grandmaster pumper, I think. Or actually, I think Matt Nichols, he did a lot of jobs to be fair. But uh, we do have a new generation of beaver. So welcome to Montana Williams. But for now, things looking positive. I may have beaten how long I lasted last time. I can't remember how many days I survived exactly before, but we've just got through another day. I love that the beavers aren't really that bothered. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Campfire. This is what we live for. This is why we work 16 hours a day, just so we can sit by a campfire and warm our tails. <laughs> Which are covering their modesty there. I'm very pleased about that because I don't want to get demonetized. So thank you, beavers. I feel like we could do with adding another like gatherer flag or something. Yeah, a hauling post. So this is what I tried to build earlier and completely failed with. Uh, but we don't actually have enough planks. So we're going to have to reopen the power wheel and lumber mill. Mondu, good choice. You went straight for the lumber mill and not the power wheel. <laughs> this is the least desirable job. Everyone's just like walking around it like that. Nah, not me. I'm too good for that. I'm too good for that. <laughs> yeah, but someone's going to have to go in there. So sorry, one of you two, Logan or OC Deer. No, I've like sacked them and they're both like, no, I'm working here. I'm working here, Matt. You can't put me in that wheel. But I did. Logan, I am sorry. It's so we only need three more planks, to be fair. So once we get through the night, we'll make our three planks and then we'll turn these machines off again. And it's done, right? Pause you. I could leave Logan in the power wheel just uh, beavering away. But don't worry. I I'm a nice guy, really. So you can get back to your old job. Right, and Montana Williams has just grown up and they've become a hauling poster. Uh, so I think they're like super strong beavers. They got strength plus 100%. So that's pretty cool. I'm surprised the water level's doing all right still. We're like a third of the way through the dry season. Looking at that bar. I don't want to jinx it, but things looking all right. I'm sort of thinking, how can I expand the housing situation? I want a third story before we finish this. So what I'm thinking is we build a house around the back and a house there. So that's two more houses. But then to get the third level, we should just be able to build one about there. Yeah, so we can plonk another one there. So now we've got three tiered living in the beaver capital city of Beaverton. Jono Purday died of old age. Oh no. Sorry, Jono. Uh, but we did get a new beaver baby, Michael Francois. So Jordan Miller, who is five years old, he. <laughs> He's been put to work in the power wheel. Uh, it's, it's not the worst job, though. I'm sure you've worked worse things. Like, you could have been an architect. Imagine that. Can you imagine that, Jordan? They've had a string of births. Ryan Reynolds, Bespoke Bespoker, Manuel Caston, and Ruth Kemish were all just born in an instant. Unfortunately, the shock of all those newborns made Jonathan Rama die of old age. You had a good run, John. Meanwhile, we're halfway through the dry season, and things are still looking good. We got 200 food, 220 water, but disaster has struck. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So our river has dried out. Thankfully, we do have this little trench along here from my dynamite. Probably should have done that under the pumping stations, yeah, but this could be the end. I'm hoping we can at least harvest some carrots. We're on 75%. So these two pools of water are saving us. Maybe my really deep one would allow these to grow all the way. We had three new births. Danielle Gleason, Taz, and Liam were all born into this absolute hellhole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there there is still some green about. I just, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last, if I'm honest. Like, the water supplies are definitely running low now. And there's more mouths to feed than ever. Seven children. <laughs> oh, dear. No, who's this? Who is that? Aaron Mackey sat on your ass. Oh, he's, he's gone. I caught him. 
At least when he was caught, he went back to work. So fair play. And look, we have a four-story beaver house, which sort of looks like the strongest shape. Do you agree? Have a look at all of these hauling posters. They're using their strength to haul some food and logs about. The trouble is we need water and from looking down there, we're completely out. So I'm going to speed up and see what happens. Oh dear. So our pond on the left just ran out there. Our trench on the right though, still looking good. Oh no, Sonoko died of thirst. Oh no, we, we've got we've got some beaver deaths going on now. Who's that? Rin. Rin died of thirst, as did Jordan Miller. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, Jordan, but look at those legs. <laughs> Yeah, this could be the end. Look how close we got to the end of the dry season. We're going to fast forward. Oh, there's deaths all over the place. Everyone's died. Oh, look, everyone's dying. Everyone's just dying. Use that. Heronity, no. And Zach, no. <laughs> we got nine adults and four children left. Oh, who's that one? Michael Francois. You only, he was only nine days old when he died. Oh, Logan. Logan's dead as well. There's four adults and three children. Oh, three adults and three children. The number's going down all the time. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can survive. It's one more night. It's just one more night. There's three beavers left of my colony. Two adults and one child. They've just gone to sleep. Let's pray they wake up in the morning. Yes! Congratulations! Under your command, the beavers survived the dry season twice. Oh, this is where the demo ends. My goodness, that was stressful as anything. <laughs> now, length of teeth grown, 381 centimeters. 3.8 meters of teeth we grew during that. That is something to tell the grandkids about. Right, anyway, guys, thanks for joining, and thank you to all the patrons that supported this video. Uh, if you want to see more of this game, particularly when it's finally released in early access sometime this year, uh, give the video a boost of the like button. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and beavers. Bye, guys.